album launch of Hannah Williams and the Tastemakers at Club Floripa. So let's go and see what they're up to. <laughs> party with the lovely Hannah and special guest Hillman. Hello Hillman. Hi, what's going on? <laughs> I love the laid backness you've got going on there. It's brilliant. <laughs> so first of all guys, tell me about how the tour was. Well, um, more how the tour is really. It's still going on. We're sort of, um, it's an extended tour. Um, we're, we're gigging sort of most weekends and a couple of nights during the week when we can um, all over Europe. Um, over the next few months so yeah it's, it's been it's been a pretty brutal so far but very good excellent reception in in every venue we've been to and we spent a couple of days in Milan and did a wicked gig at a place called Bico and yeah saw some passionate Italians which is always nice <laughs> and um, yeah but it's uh, it's been really great and the the albums um, selling really well and just getting some great responses do you go to anything cheeky on the tour Nick he is the man to ask. <laughs> uh, I don't. I, I think I just make faux pas generally. Is, is what usually happens is I'll accidentally insult quite a large amount of people depending on tiredness or drunkenness, I think. Uh, yeah, that's why mainly that's my main problem on tour. What's an average day like in the life of Hannah? Oh, crikey. <laughs> That's a question and a half, isn't it? It depends which one you're asking me about. Well, today, All of them. <laughs> today's, today's probably a good one to pick, actually. This week's been pretty mental. Um, as you know, well, so I hope you know, I'm Director of Foundation Music at the University of Winchester. Oh, yeah. well, and so. it's been our graduation week this week. Okay. So I've done seven graduation ceremonies. So I've come straight from Winchester Cathedral, directing my gospel choir, clapping and singing their way down the aisle. Oh. Um, after a yeah, very early start. Uh, um, and yeah, straight here, a couple of drinks, show, home. As this is the launch party actually, tell me about the album. Uh, what can we expect to hear on it? What's your favourite song on the album? Tell me the nitty gritty. Um, well, you're going to hear a lot of real deep soul um, and a few pretty kicking, funky party tracks. Um, my personal favourite track is Washed Up, which is really, really kind of heavy, gut-wrenching, heartstring-pulling soul. Um, with um, Nick and I spent quite a long time on the string arrangements for it, and our string players, um, called the Cordicellas, they played it just incredibly well on the day we recorded. Um, and I just love it. I loved it the first day Nick bought me the song. I loved it the first time I heard it after a live recording. I loved the first time I heard the actual album recording. And it's just, it really touches me and always has. So, um, yeah, for me, that's kind of, that's, um, that's the most kind of intense track, I think. Woman, woman, 
want to know guys I actually come to who should I pick first Hannah considering you're the voice um, how you kind of really start writing a song is it the melody that comes into your head or the lyrics or a bit of both how do you usually do it um, well there's a couple of tracks on the album that Nick and I collaborated on the majority of the work is totally Nick's um, but if I'm honest there is no black and white answer to that um, especially you know the stuff I used to write when I was when I was younger as well kind of more folky bits and bobs it was all everything sort of came at once really Um, I would always try and write lyrics first but it would never necessarily happen that way and the stuff that me and Nick have written often it will start with him giving me like a riff um, just a simple sort of guitar riff and then we'll just build on that and I'll come up with something and I'll sort of hum and what what was that what will you come up with Hannah (laughs) something along those lines brilliant brilliant Um, yeah kind of we we definitely worked together to to make the whole song kind of work but I don't know what Nick's okay do you agree with that Nick is that kind of how you see it in your head or that's not really how I write I don't think uh, I write it's all subconscious writing, uh, and that's where the, the word Mondegreen comes from. Is overhearing something. A Mondegreen is is uh, is overhearing something wrong. Um, so I tend to write off uh, like a car will go past, and you hear that that whiz um, of something in coming out of the window, right? And uh, and then you don't even know what it is consciously, but subconsciously your brain my brain goes off and I've suddenly written this piece and then I have to run at pace to somewhere that I can write it down or sing into my phone. But that's what I mean, like, you know, we have a very, very, very different approach and, like, I don't, I don't have a particular approach to writing songs and that's one of the reasons why I'm not a songwriter, I'm a singer, you know, and Nick is my songwriter. But the couple that we've, you know, that we've collaborated on, I mean, I think you can hear that they're very different on the album. It's Tell Me Something, Liberties and... Um, uh, the Kitchen Strut, Deep Fried Funk, okay. and again they were they were so different to any of the other tracks in the in the process, in the general sort of style and um, everything about them really. And I think I think Nick's approach is definitely better and easier to work with. Mm. But those tracks, I you know I still love them, and I think they're great little bubbles in that yeah. kind of journey that we've got to the album. So Brilliant. very different, you know, very 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 different styles. <laughs> work with Hannah that's what I want to know actually because when I interviewed her last it was like so much energy and then I was just like I must interview Mr Hillman here so tell me what it's like to work with her. Uh, it's great it's great to work with Han um, <laughs> especially when she's sitting right next to me. Yeah. 
I think that that's when that's when I speak most about how good it is. Um, <laughs> we'll talk after, yeah. <laughs> the um, it's amazing as a writer is to be able to write anything and to know that it's going to be sung at a world class level is just good. like that's so great because it frees me to write whatever I want and then I'll sing it in a completely uh, deformed out of tune way and then Hannah somehow takes it out of my head and then it becomes a song that people actually want to listen to. Music stops and the world keeps spinning. You were very much kind of the thoughts behind the video, work it out. Yeah. So what kind of gave you the concept of that video? I don't know what originally gave me the thought. Our friends are in a theatre company called The River People and they're the resident artists at uh, Spinney Hollow, which is an outdoor theatre space set in the woods outside Winchester. Um, so we wanted to do, I wanted to do something uh, with them that incorporate puppets. I, I suppose it just sort of rolled on out of that. I just tend to start with something small and uh, it's all about uh, simple ideas done well and I, I hope that was done well, but it was definitely a simple idea. Um, and I, I think as a, a, from the business side as well as the artist side, from the business side, I wanted to, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to show that we were from Britain and I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to fall into this funk scene stereotype that I think's way back in the 90s, uh, where uh, it, we're all sort of sitting around playing cards at a table in a smoky yeah. bar and like really. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think there's more to our band than than uh, than the stereotype, and I wanted to, I wanted that to be, as our first thing. I wanted to come in big, bad, and different. Um, to tell people that we're going to be doing something different and that they need to be expecting something different from us. What's it like working with Mr. Hillman? <laughs> Gun to my head. Um, hard, a lot of the time. We work each other pretty hard. Um, our drummer came up with an excellent phrase while we were in Italy and said, um, we are brutally supportive <laughs> of each other. Of the band, that's, that that's is. Point, it's right? brutal support. <laughs> like, we're, we're very much like a family um, in a non sort of bleh way, you know. Okay. We're. We're genuinely kind of, everybody's connected. Everybody has their role in the family. Um, and yeah, I mean, we, we, have, a, we have an excellent artistic relationship. Um, and fortunately, we just so happen to actually quite like each other as well, which is great. But, um, you know, ultimately as, a, as, uh, as an artist, it's exactly the reverse of what Nick's just said in, from the other perspective is that I, I, am, I am singing the songs of a world-class songwriter, you know, who can write things, even like he says in his deformed, yeah. crazy voice way, you know, he writes, he knows exactly what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. And we have kind of, I think we have a sort of an, an unspoken um, uh, sort of link. Yeah, just kind of, you know, brain-wise, I, I just, I think I kind of, I get the songs by osmosis half the time. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a really interesting, often hilarious relationship. But um. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the music industry, like that's out there now, like the charts? Because I'm I'm interested to ask you, because I think you're quite honest with your answers and you're quite edgy, and I'd, I'd, I'd just like to kind of yeah know what you think of like what's in the charts now, your opinion on them. I can't really have an opinion. I don't actually know. Um, what is in the charts? We were in the charts, uh, <laughs> uh, so it can't all be that bad, can it? But I, I really, I don't, I don't listen to the radio. I don't actually know 
I see Jules Holland every now and then. Uh, Would you like to be on Jules Holland? Yeah, that's the goal of the band when we all, when we started it. That was that is goal. And on um, on the album cover, <laughs> it says under the thank you section, it's the last thank you is like thanks in advance to anyone who knows Jules Holland and gets us gets him to come and get us to play on the show. Um, <laughs> Literally, that's, that's wow. the closing gambit. <laughs> So what could we expect to see tonight like in your performances? Are you performing all of what's on the album or have you picked all your favourite songs? What, what no, kind of stuff are you perform? Um, we're, I mean, to be honest, we, we're performing a selection of stuff. Quite a lot of it's off, off the first album, but, you know, we're already playing and, and, and um, developing quite a lot of material for the second album. So you're going to hear a lot of new stuff. Um, and obviously a lot of live versions of, of the of the album. So you know we we try not to play the same set too much because we are you know we are a, a live band and what keeps us fresh and excited and exciting yeah. is doing new music. One last question: um, Are you married, Nick? Uh, no, I'm not married. <laughs> not not for me, but. <laughs> I know a lot of girls that like that kind of look where it's kind of laid back and kind of edgy. So I'm just wondering, you know, I found out the life of Hannah. Now let's find out the life of Nick. I, I, I don't really think that I'm that edgy or laid back. I'm not laid back. I'm not laid back. Um, but um, I, what was the question? Yeah. Are you married? I, are you married? I, can't, I can confirm that I'm not currently married. Um, okay. Yeah. Would you like to be in the future, or is music just your goal forever? <laughs> <laughs> Music's my mistress. My, um, uh, yeah, I can get married. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck with the show, and thank you ever so much, guys. Thanks, I, I thought they were brilliant. I've seen them a few times and made, wanted to make sure I got it tonight. And yeah, excellent as always. What do you like about them? Um, 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 Hannah's voice is incredible. The band's really tight, and um, I don't know they're so young, but seem to play with so much more experience. And it's great to watch. Really enjoy it. I loved it, and this is the first time I see them live. And I've seen a few clips on YouTube, and uh, I thought it was a great performance. And I love the beat of the music. Really lovely to dance to. Yeah. What did you think of the band? Because you're standing at the door. So that's just the thing, I was standing at the door outside, so I couldn't really hear the band. Really? But people came out and said the band was really hot. Oh, okay. So, cool. there you go. I thought the lead singer was very good. Fantastic voice. And that girl blowing the trumpet, I want to marry her. No, I'm not. Did you just watch the band? Yeah. We did actually, yes. yes did. What Anna did you Williams think? And the, the one takes. And the no, tastemakers. Taste oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, that was Halfway there, 50%, that was good. Name. Oh! 
Oh, so you've been following them? I, d- I know them well. I know them well. Okay, Not so personally, but I do know them. How do you know them? Just from gigs? Uh, from gigs, from my friends married to Hannah, that sort of... Yes. Casual, casual equation. Hannah likes the toy boy, as you can see. Yeah, he's your friend around the same age? He is, same school year, <laughs> same school year. Yes, it's true, it's true, she does. <laughs> and what about you, what did you think of the band? I thought they were brilliant, yeah. I thought she was really good. That's the first time I've met, like, seen her and everything. I thought she was a really good performer. So. Yeah. yeah. What really did you good. like about her, though? What was the thing that really made you go, oh, it I like that? Raw. Like, her voice was really raw, and um, she really involved the audience, and I thought it was brilliant. And the music was just fantastic. Okay. Do you think they're destined for big things? Oh, quite possibly. I hope so, yeah. What's your names, by the way? Say hello to the camera. Hi. Hello, I'm Ben. <laughs> I'm Tiffany. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and what did you think of the band? They were amazing. Yeah? Yeah, they were... Um, a, a friend of Tid Woods, they were, they were really good. We came along. I really liked them. I would say the lead singer was the definition of sassy, and I really liked that. <laughs> so, like, do you think the band are destined for big things? Definitely. I mean... I mean, this is quite, it was quite a small venue, but there was a lot of people in there. Um, a lot of people know about them. We heard about them via Facebook um, and, and came, came along because of that. Um, yeah, I loved it. I really yeah. did. Wouldn't know Would you buy their it. album? I'd buy their album, definitely. Yeah. Are you going to go in there now and buy their album? <laughs> I could go in there and buy their album, definitely. Yeah. I'll put it on my Christmas. How much is Christmas? it? Ten pounds. That is good value. Yeah. Good value. <laughs> Yeah. I should be promotions for Hannah and the Tastemakers. That's what I should be, right? Yeah, of course. And just pronounce your name again. So who we got? Laura. Emily. Thank you, guys. Well done. <laughs> I was wondering where that mad hair came from. Now I know. It's Italian. It's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So what's it like playing in Hannah and the Tastemakers? It's cool. I, I like so much. Uh, I, I'm here because I, I like this project. So... Uh, I, I, I never thought to, um, to be in England to play music and when I, I met Hannah Williams and the Tastemakers in Italy uh, and they asked to me uh, if you want uh, to come, uh, well, it, it's, it's not really uh, like this because uh, uh, everything uh, 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 began as a joke. So Nick t- told me, well, uh, it's a pity that you are not in, in, uh, in England because our, our saxophonist uh, uh, has leave us, oh, right? Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I, I said, well, it's not so, um, um, not so far, England. So I'm here. I love it. It's not so far, England. Yeah. I'll just jump on a plane, yeah. you know, give up my whole life in Italy. Uh, and I'm here because Hannah Williams and the Tastemakers is a great band and I, I, I like to, to play with them. I like so much. 